What's going on YouTube? Gias right here. So in today's video I have some great news. For those of you waiting for an iOS 11.4 final version, jailbreak. Now for those of you who are waiting for that, I have some interesting news coming from Brandon Azad. He posted this a couple hours ago, quote, I'll be presenting Crashing to Root, how to escape the iOS sandbox using a board at BVXCon this September. I'll show how to exploit CVE 2018 for 280 fixed in iOS 11.4.1 by crashing maliciously in order to elevate privileges, defeat code signing, and spawn a shell on iOS 11.2.6. Now I'm not entirely sure whether it's only uh, spawning on iOS 11.2.6 because this is the version he has access to in order to test or whether because it, there's a limitation on the code or the vulnerability but anyways he's talking about something that has been patched on iOS 11.4.1 but for those of you on iOS 11.4 final version or even the betas that are not supported by the Electra this is pretty good news and if you take a look in here on about security content of iOS 11.4.1 if you scroll a little bit you have two vulnerabilities on libxpc and both of them are linked to Brandon Z. one of which is CVE 2018-4280 and the other one 4248. Now about the uh, 4248 in here which says an out of bounds read was addressed with improved input validation and a malicious application may be able to read a restricted memory, this one has actually been uh, demonstrated and talked about in a write-up on Brandon Azad's blog but the other one in here that he mentioned in his tweet the 4280 did not receive a write-up yet so we do not know much about this one here but it says quote impact an application may be able to gain elevated privileges and the description a memory corruption issue was addressed with improved memory handling so this one looks a little bit better and more interesting because this one you know gives you elevated privileges and this is what he's going to talk about at the BVXCon. Now I know September is quite far in the future but at least we do have a vulnerability that is capable of doing sandbox escaping which is something very important on a jailbreak. Now for those of you who do not know when you're creating a jailbreak you need to escape the sandbox because otherwise your application doesn't have access to anything outside its container and of course you're not able to run or to see other files that are on the root file system or on the system folders and so on. So aside from AMFI patching and remounting the root file system and code sign and whatever you have to to also escape the sandbox and this is pretty much what this does in here and this is what he's going to talk about at PVXCon which of course is going to be very useful for the iOS 11.4 jailbreak development. So as I said this vulnerability in here has not been demonstrated there is no write-up about it if you go ahead here on his blog he's only covering this one in here which is also discovered by him but not this one in here so it's going to be a little bit of a surprise. So for those of you on iOS 11.4 who of course missed the Electra jailbreak as iOS 11 11.4 beta 1, 2 and 3 are supported by the Electra but the final version is not and a lot of you that are on iOS 11.4 are on the final version there is going to be a jailbreak at some point, there are already vulnerabilities gathering and of course this is going to be very nice. And of course this is not going to be too far in the future but do not update to iOS 11.4.1 since iOS 11.4.1 fixes the vulnerabilities in here. Also for those of you who do not know iOS 11.4 is no longer signed so you cannot downgrade to it, you cannot downgrade to the beta, you can only use iOS 11.4.1 at this point so do not restore your device because downgrades are not currently possible. Now before we end this video I'm going to also talk a little bit about the Osiris jailbreak which is my jailbreak that I built and I'm going to update it to work with iOS 11.3.x you know just for practicing purposes. For those of you who want to check out the project it's available here on github you can check it out but I'm going to pretty much rewrite the entire project from scratch to fix you know bugs and bad code and so on and I'm going to update it for iOS 11.3.1 with this occasion. Anyway for those of you who are interested, I'm going to also post a write-up on how to build your own jailbreak using the Chilean, which is a toolkit by Jonathan Levin. You can check it out on new OS X book. Anyways, this is pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. I'm Geo Snow. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Until the next time, peace out.